am I the asshole for leaving money to my girlfriend in my will? Leaving money no. to your... Ooh, I'm going to go with yes. Because usually wills are saved for spouses. Well, I mean, you're assuming... Gonna, I ass- <laughs> so you're assuming this is a side piece. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe what's your what, yeah, what, what is yeah, your sure assumption? sure okay. yeah. sure I was like wait how, how are you maybe just, just maybe, say maybe, maybe they're not like maybe they're i don't know like i just feel like you don't leave a will to just a girlfriend you leave it to maybe like a kid or like an estate or a family not a girlfriend but that's just me that's fair so your assumption is that uh he's with this girl has kids and is giving her the money. Can, I, I'm sorry. My, I'm just my 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 question. Like when when you like when you do like life insurance and all that. Like your dependent can't be just a girlfriend, right? It has to be like a legal partner. I don't know what the law is. To be I, yeah, I was gonna say. I think you could do whatever. It's your will. And I'm just getting that from watching Knives Out when that guy. Spoiler alert! That guy <laughs> gave the 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 nurse all his money. Yeah, I know what you're talking oh. about. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert! If I don't you know. I'm thinking Knives of it out. as like. Uh, a benefit and usually it's usually spouses that get that or like no but there's different know, types could, of life insurance it's not just like work oh, life well, insurance. well i don't know shit about will so that's just my guess <laughs> i'm enough. still okay. saying yes just for that reason i'm gonna say no uh it's your money you can give it to whoever you want to when you die hmm. fair enough i mean that is true you can uh so here it goes i'm so just following I... knives out rules <laughs> all those i've never watched are, it it's a good <laughs> one i did it is a great well, I don't think I spoiled anything, really. That that happens pretty soon. That she I gets say the I tuned, in I tuned all out, so I don't know what you said. Okay, yeah. that's a it's it's on Prime, I think. Mm. Uh, I think it, you're right. I think yeah, uh, both. Yeah, the be. first one is on Prime. The second one is on Netflix. That's Why what that it makes is. Sense. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I think Netflix bought the rights to. And Dave Batista is in the second one. If that gives is you any, uh, if if that entices you, maybe he's, to watch. He's we'll great see. in it. <laughs> he's a great actor he's the best wrestler turn actor in my opinion for sure uh yeah i mean john cena with uh peacemaker might be contention for that but al batista has more of like a range more range, range. range yeah, for, sure. for sure more range yeah i'm just saying it was a great show <laughs> peacemaker was fantastic yeah Still all right so it. uh <laughs> so once again this is am i the asshole for leaving money to my girlfriend in my will and it goes as this I, 55 male, have an arrangement with my wife, 54 female. Oh, no, I'm wrong. (laughs) Mm. Fuck. Mm. I told you with those wives, baby. It has to be legally married. I don't know. So we've been married for 32 years, and around year 15, the sex life started getting stale. Around that time, we were both in our late 30s. Our two kids were just preteen funk. Um, Oh, my kids. (laughs) That's not old at all. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Wait, that's year 15? Uh yeah. Yeah, so they would have been married for 15 years at that point. They're okay. now 30, but they're now 55. So, uh so our, at that time our two kids were in that preteen funk and my career was accelerating at a speed that I never anticipated while my wife was just gone back to work at that time. All this to say was I was spending a lot of time away from home. My wife didn't seem to mind that and I did not seem to care that nobody was initiating sex anymore. A few years go by and we wake up at 46 and 47 to realize how much tension there was in our marriage. We finally had money, house, and friends we wanted, but there was mutual resentment. After trying three therapists, we accepted the fact that we were both no longer up to being intimate with each other. My wife and I agreed that we could both have a fling on the side as long as we did not humiliate each other. However, while she did sleep with one other man on and off, she said she was happy being sexless. Meanwhile, I, five years ago, started a discreet relationship with my girlfriend 28 female. Over the years, I began to have feelings for her. She had trouble with depression and employment, so I paid her rent and bought her some things. My wife isn't thrilled, but she said it's fine as long as the money doesn't uh, make a real dent in our finances. However, now, maybe as punishment for my unhealthy life choices, I have cancer. That's when I realized a lot of the emotional bonding I've done over the past years have been with my girlfriend. I regret the fact that I cannot marry her and wanted to show that I care about the years that she sacrificed for me. My wife and I signed a prenup because I was going to med school and in her youth, she had money problems. I, uh, it entitled her to half my estate, but the other half I could do with what I wished. I decided to meet with my lawyer and give 20% of my liquid assets to my girlfriend. 
In addition, she would be given an investment property I had, which would yield her about 60000 a year in monthly rent. I told my wife right after I met with the lawyer and she was furious. She said that she tolerated this girlfriend, but leaving her that money went too far. She said that her main concern was that I was taking it away from our kids and that they, were, uh, they would have to find out about this. I told her that my girlfriend means something to me, even when I tried not to let that happen. And I reminded her that she agreed to the arrangement and she would still be getting the bulk of my estate. Uh, my wife will also get her fair share and know there are no alterations of affection law in our state. So am I the asshole? I'm going to preface this by saying I don't like this guy that much. You know what I mean? I don't <laughs> really I don't, preface I don't, that because sometimes yeah, people don't understand. <laughs> yeah. I don't really care for what this man has chosen to do with his life. Uh, but I will say, I think I stand with my initial judgment and mm. then it's his money. He could do it. Like, cause we always have like, cause I don't know. They're adult children at this point. Uh, it is kind of, I think it's fucked up to give your girlfriend more than you're giving your children. Cause the wife is getting 50, the girlfriend is getting 20 and it sounds like there's multiple children. So for sure, if you're splitting up that rest of that 30, it's, it's, it's going to be less than the 20 that your girlfriend gets. Uh, but again, it is the money you earned and worked for. It's yours. We've done things where like, we've done stories where the end all be all is like, yeah, it's your money. You could do what you want. So I, I think I'm standing by it's your money. He could do what he wants. I don't love it. I don't right. like. So uh, uh, to combat a little bit on that, Sean. So a lot of the comments are saying like the agreement wasn't to have another relationship. It was to have. It was just have a sex, fling. Right? Yes. And so he's breaking that agreement by making this thing a relationship. I mean, truly, uh, he should have got a divorce. Yes, probably. True. <laughs> that should have been that should have been the first step. And that's why I am sticking with that I think he's the asshole because ultimately it's taking away funds for his children. It is unfortunate that he's, you know, he's dying. And like what you said, Sean, I agree. They had a, they, they did have some sort of an arrangement, but I feel like he broke that arrangement by having a more like intimate, uh, you know, it, it, was, it seemed like he really loved this girlfriend. So if yeah. at that point, he should have done like the amicable thing and just divorce, get the finances straight up, or straightened out then. And then when that divorce finalizes, then he can do whatever the hell he wants with his money. So that part, I'm still calling him that. And I'm also like icked out because how old was the girl? <laughs> I know she's 25, like the, above 25. And the rule 28 is and like, 55. That is like double the age. Yeah. Uh, it's above I don't the 25 assume, rule though. It is. Surprisingly. I don't want to assume anything, <laughs> but I'm giving, I'm, this is giving me like. Sugar daddy. Did, yeah, for sure. Sugar like, daddy. was he a sugar daddy, or was there ever like really <laughs> some sort of like a romantic connection? Because he didn't really say anything specific about like what she, what she did for him. It was just more like, hey, like I got with her, I ended up falling. You know, like there was no I context. I pay her rent, me, so. I buy her things. Yeah, that's Seems why I'm sugar like, daddy. <laughs> yeah, sugar sure. daddy ish to me. So that's why yeah. I'm sticking with the asshole grade. Yeah. yeah what what think- happens when we? disagree as far as the competition goes oh that's true uh well i thought it was majority right so it's like whatever the three of us agree on so i'm going not the or uh, sorry i'm going asshole uh uh Mm. that's kind of where i'm leaning because again it's it's, let it be known i hate this whole fucking competition thing i hate what you guys have done to us (laughs) i do too because i don't want to come up with a punishment i came up with one already and it got rejected off the bat (laughs) Yeah, yeah dude, guys, yeah. I'm straight up just not going to do something I don't want to do. I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm all up uh, for fun punishments, but if I yeah, don't want to do I, it, I mean, it's got to be reasonable. Pretty, yeah. And you guys might say that the suggested punishment is reasonable. And I, I was going to say, we're going to, we're going to save it for the, uh, for patrons. They'll, <laughs> we'll they'll save it for the, the rejected rich. one was, but uh, it, it seemed mild to us. <laughs> You're making us do extra work trying to come up with shit, guys. Racist. Well, you know, it's for it's for the patrons. So it is for it. the patrons. Um. Anyway, so so my reasons not the are for being the asshole. I it, a lot of what John said. Uh, uh, it goes beyond the it's your money. You can do what you want. Like this is now in. Uh, here's the thing: if they had divorced and he had given his like put her in that in the will, fine. That's okay. But he's he's gone beyond this agreement he's had with his wife 
where it's just sex with other people. And now he's caused like he's created a whole new relationship was which was not part of the deal. Um, mm-hmm. And so he's he's now uh, she thought they were doing something else. And now he's turned around and been like, uh, no, I'm actually I actually have a lot of feelings for this person, even though it does sound like a sugar baby <laughs> kind of situation. Which, and, and the wife sounded really surprised by everything, you yes. know, and it's just like so to me that gave me the vibe like, oh, she was completely caught off guard that he kept probably saying it throughout the years like she's just a side piece not someone that i developed romantic feelings for so i right. think he essentially like cheated the agreement so yeah that kind of breaks everything for me so that's where i'm kind of leaning uh, on where he's the asshole the money thing doesn't really affect mm-hmm. my decision because i'm like i do agree it's your money you can do what you want but i feel the the situation surrounding the money is the real asshole <laughs> part of it but the question um, was <laughs> Fair enough. Am I, mean, I the asshole for leaving for money to my girlfriend, the girlfriend my will? on the will? And I think two out of three agreed <laughs> that if it were strictly the money, okay. Not the I mean, now we're just now we're semantics. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think. Um, oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna fucking lose another <laughs> month. God damn it! <laughs> uh, uh, let us know what you think because uh, I'd be curious to see. I. I I, I do agree. That is the question. But look, all three uh, of us do not like this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's just, I, I'm just looking on. at it semantics <laughs> wise. Fair. Fair. You're turning into a real Redditor. <laughs> yeah. I'm growing uh, this out a little bit down here under my. Oh, boy. Just this part under your neck. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to shave everything else. <laughs> Your boy Sean. <laughs>